Come April 2023, there's going to be a lot of changes in the UK immigration rules, especially for those on Tier 4 and Tier 2 visa. A lot of suggestions have been made by government officials, by the Home Secretary Office, as we got some of the changes they're planning to make on immigration rules in order to be able to, you know, improve the country's economy because the UK is currently going through a bad time at the moment. So many of these, uh, uh, you know, suggestions will be put into law come April 2023 and I'll be sharing with you one of the latest updates as regards the UK immigration. So if it's in this video interest, you don't go anywhere, keep watching till the end. Hello guys, my name is Daniel. If you're coming across the channel for the first time on this channel, I share videos around traveling abroad. If you look for a place to get first hand information, then please click on the red subscribe button below. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the love. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get right in to the video. The UK may lift work hour limit on international students during studies. Now, it's uh, no longer a news that as an international student in the UK, you can only work 20 hours during your term time. And, you know, many of these employers, especially if you're on holidays and you have probably a week or few days to the end of your holiday to resume back to session, many of those uh, employers will definitely reinforce the fact that upon resumption, you need to reduce your work hours to 20 hours. And, you know, with the news going around as regards the UK planning to lift um, work hour limits during studies, this is basically because of the huge number of job vacancies available in the United Kingdom. So the UK government is considering increasing the number of hours international students can work during studies in a bid to fill job vacancies across the country. Now, Honestly, I think many of these developed countries basically are undergoing shortage occupation and many of their jobs are out there, no one is uh, available to fill it. And just of recent, Australia and Canada also, you know, um, took over the limits on international student working hours, basically just to be able to, you know, meet up with their shortage occupations. And I, so I, I actually, uh, you know, suspected that UK is probably going to do the same because UK too is also experiencing shortage occupation. As I see, many of these recruitment agency keep recruiting people every blessed week. Some people recruit as much as every day you know just because people are coming to the system and living at the same time you know despite the you know visa given to people coming into the uk to work as healthcare assistant there's just so many job roles so many job vacancies out there for care agencies so ministers are considering extending the work hour limit for 20 hours with the government debating whether to increase the limit to 30 hours or to scrap it com completely. The idea aligns closely with the policy in Australia and in Canada that comes as Prime Minister is focused on ensuring economic growth. And the truth is, many of the citizens here in the UK don't really work because they have access to, you know, government funding, they have access to a lot of credit facilities. So why would they want to work? Even their young ones, most of them, all you see them do is to be in clubs on Saturday and Sunday night and this is basically because of the assets they've got if you are un unemployed in this country there's an amount of money the government pays you you know they have different benefits packages available for their citizens so many of them don't really work you know I've had conversation with many of the citizens at work and you know they'll be like why are you going to school why are you doing a master's why are you planning to do a PhD you get what I mean so they're not so keen about working basically if they have a choice they stop working like when I was at work and there's this young lad 20 years old young boy and it was being corrected by supervisor da 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 and the guy was like no no you know what I'm, I'm done I'm done you know I was just saying some swear words and he just dropped his ID card and walked away trust me the following months he's going to file for unemployment <laughs> and he's going to get paid many of them even get paid more than we uh, that are even working honestly many of them get a lot of money from you know being un unemployed than even while they are working so basically they have opportunity not to work and the government has seen this you know gap available for people to work and international students are ready to work but we've got loads of restrictions to work and i believe that if the government decides to you know increase or take away the limits to the um uh, to the work hours for international students aside from the fact that many of us are going to abuse this fact and probably focus more on working than studying it's also a win-win to both parties 
the government is going to benefit even we as international students obviously you get to make more money sort your immediate bills and all of those stuff at the same time the government is also going to benefit because trust me if you're working 20 hours there's high chance of you not getting taxed depending on how much you are earning per hour now most of the jobs in the uk let's say you, you get like 10 pounds per hour that means in 20 hours you earn 200 pounds that's that amount is not taxable so you don't get to pay tax if you're working 20 hours but trust me if they take away the work uh, limits uh, the, the number of hours you can work as an international student it's definitely a win-win to both sides the government is going to you know benefit more in a way because firstly you're going to be taxed and secondly they will be able to fill up their job vacancies and trust me if you work a lot in the uk you know what i mean actually during holidays uh i remember my last holiday i worked i think i worked quite pretty much and by the time my pay slip came honestly about 40 percent of my earning went on tax and ni and although the the, the, the uh, amount i got after tax was a bit reasonable but compared to the number of hours I worked and the amount I earned before tax deduction it was absolutely ridiculous so imagine working and earning about 1000 to uh, after uh, before tax and by the time the tax you you end up going with 750 or 700 or something pounds where did the 400 and something pounds go to <laughs> it has been taken as tax and NI so the government is going to gain in a way because they get to uh, you know make a lot of money from taxpayers which include you as national students if you're working long hours and at the same time they get to fill up their job vacancies so it's a win for the government the government is going to benefit a lot compared to what you're going to benefit as i said you also will benefit you get enough money to pay off the balance of your tuition fee pay off your house rent pay up your you know every other bills you've got but at the same time the government is benefiting so we shouldn't pay it to make it look like they are doing not a lot of favor by taking the work hours yeah they're not doing us a favor but we shouldn't pay it so much that oh ah these people they, are, they have our interest in mind no they don't all they want to do is to sort out the economy and in a way they give you more hours to work take tax off you and also you know get the economy going which is a good thing there's nothing bad about that but at the same time we also need to you know be to have more understanding about how all of those things work so basically they're just trying to increase work hour allow international students to work and you know it's actually amazing how the all of these news are coming at the time where the home office secretary decided that she wants to reduce the number of hour or the number of years you can stay on the post study work visa from two years to six months and you know there's been a lot of mixed feelings as regards what exactly is going to come into law every of these things are still suggestion there are still opinions you know made by those in government nothing has been passed to law yet so but i believe from april 2023 there will be a lot of updates on the uk immigration rules and we are hoping that every of the rules they're going to make is going to favor us as international students in this country and one of the things mentioned by the government officials during this debate is the fact that the uk government needs to maintain the competitive advantage it has over other developed countries by ensuring that the graduate route stays at two years for those on master's program and three years for those on phd so these are basically some of the things happening in the uk at the moment as regards uk immigration and visas so if you have any other suggestion if you have any other question please stay in the comment section if you find this video resourceful click on the like button and if you're coming across this channel for the first time please click on the red subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and for my other subscribers thank you guys for the love thank you for being here i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.